So what I usually like to do is uh, come to Staples to copy my images. It seems like it's cheaper than buying your own printer, but uh, you kind of have to put up with some of the menus and navigations with these machines. So uh, this first one is just uh, kind of uh, getting ready to copy. The circuits have to be inverted, first of all, for the type of transfer that uh, I'm doing. So it is the mirror setting on this. Then I also like to come here with some, some tools that I can use, like this paper cutter DVO. You know, it's free, so it's not bad. And we're gonna kinda kludge a little bit of this schematic together. What are we making today? Um, we've got a prototype of a sequencer board and we have some lo-fi mini fuzzes that I'm doing. The transfer paper that I like to use is kind of expensive. So Try and cram as much stuff on it as you can, but when you're prototyping stuff, it's kind of you know you need to copy and paste stuff a little bit. But when you're when you're in full production, then you can you know get a whole page worth of design onto one sheet, and it's pretty economical that way. But these guys are just tests, and I don't want to waste a whole sheet of paper on it. Uh, except for these, these are for a friend that asked me to make him some fuzz circuits. This is the fat hawk fuzz circuits. And oh, take care of this real quick. Just look at it, and it's pretty good. The toner stays fairly now, well. This is not what you're using for the transfer, though, right? You have to have it on glossy paper, or is this? That is correct. Okay. And then just have to make sure that these are not lopsided or skewed. Right. Good enough. I mean, like what? These these are old tests. Okay. Now here's the tricky part, and perhaps the most. Uh, expensive. So you kind of have to decide what circuits you're going to make. And I think I should make some more of these. Okay, I don't have any more of these. But I suppose I'll make one of these. The transfer paper that I've been using with this transfer toner stuff um, it's about a dollar a sheet uh, from DigiKey. It's about $13 a pack, maybe 11 depends how many you buy. There's two sides to it, non-glossy and glossy. And we need four because we're making four copies. Well, first of all, for transfers, you do not want to use regular black and white copier. We do want to use a color laser jet copier. It's just something with the consistency and the toner quality. And you have to use that specific paper. And you have to use this specific paper. Other glossy paper like the photo paper that everybody recommends is pretty much garbage. This is a slide transfer stuff. Hmm. It actually looks like they were marketing it as PCB. Yeah, yeah. It, it, you could do PCB or slide transfers. Okay. All right, so when you're ready, 
you load your paper and external tray obviously you don't want to use the paper that's in here and you want to when you put the stuff in you want to select the uh, extra heavy weight what this will do is it will heat the paper more so that the toner will transfer into the paper better you don't want to set it on transparency or normal because then you can just scratch it off from the paper you want to make sure that it soaks up and another thing is every time you change these settings um, that's that dings you more on your um, bill so you want to set everything the first time get all of your papers in the row that you want to use and insert them ready for copy all right so a couple of things to make sure when you're looking at the uh, the basic copying window select full color don't do black or three pass for auto color i'll put top trays fine no reducing hot paper supplies tray five which is the side and make sure that your papers are oriented the long way in both the auto feed and the top feed so, right there and well let's get the gander let's push the copy button and see how it goes There we go. Huh. Can be worried there for a second. And this thing, things takes a while to spin up all the colors and load them into the drum and then press them onto the paper. Hmm. So it can be quite the nerve-wracking experience. But you know, as you can see, this job cost us dollar forty-nine, which is pretty good. Looks like it might have cut off a little bit on the top edge there. Yeah, it's a little kind of more angled, but that's close enough though. Yeah, it looks like all the leaves are there. Yeah. This is how they should all look like. And I don't know if you can tell with the camera, but you see how it's so the ink is continuous, it's all nice and glossy on the real thick real thick you just don't get that kind of copy with the regular copier it gets on you can see gouges in it and it's porous this stuff is like very solid and on hmm. and it's completely black which is good so this will make for a good transfer do they come out wet at all or is it is it completely dry when yeah, it's, it's completely dry so all right. these guys look good well, this is, uh, this is the most critical part, is locating a nice copier, having the right paper, and having the right base material to uh, do your transfer work. Um, the next step is to heat transfer these to the copper clad board. And if you have the right, you know, if you have the nice paper and the nice print on it that's not a problem at all it worked out perfectly as you will soon see uh, thanks